end of another day. And holy cow, was it a struggle to get through the day. Um, really trying just to do all the things I'm I need to do is uh, very difficult. And not because of the the type of work it is, just so many things keep going on. But, I did listen to the Apple event in the background, so basically I turned it on and put my headphones in, didn't watch it, but I watched parts of it. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I like some of the stuff. New Apple Watch with LTE. Um, the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10. Cool. The iPhone 10, I just have a, one question I'd like to answer, I'd like to have answered. Um, the face recognition. All right, cool. I've had it on my Surface for quite some time. That's how I log into my Surface. But, I said, oh, you have to look at the um, iPhone. Okay. So, if a cop wants to unlock your phone, um, can he just, like it happens instantly, can he just do this in front of your face and lock it, swipe up really quick, and now he's got access to your phone. That doesn't seem right. Um, basically, it sounds like to me, if I got one of those, I would completely disable um, that feature and just use a passcode because I don't think that that would actually be something I'd want to risk. Not, I'm not saying that I cough and log in, but what, somebody else in log in, or th it just seems a little iffy. So, I mean, I think I'll probably just, I mean, I will get a plug. If I get one, it could be the 8 plus. I would like that, I like that bigger screen, those, that, those the face tracking stuff. Sounds really cool. But, Sounds like what they're doing is they're putting the stuff that they were going to put into the next version, like the iPhone 9 or the 8S or whatever you want to call it. They put that into the iPhone 10. So basically, what's probably going to happen is they're going to use the iPhone 10 to beta test all that stuff. And once it's done, then the iPhone 8S or iPhone 9 will have it. I mean, granted, this is not going to be the only place you're going to get this. It's just the pl first place you're going to get it. So, yeah, I don't know. Some of those things don't seem like they are that big of, I'm not sure. It's, it's only a few hundred dollars more. The screen's bigger. I don't know if that little area at the top where it's kind of like cut out for the camera and everything, that might get really annoying to me. I don't know. That's some of the other stuff they talked about. Um, was stuff I don't remember. Oh, new Apple TV. Cool. Uh, Amazon Video seems to be coming to it. That's basically the only thing that's been holding me off from getting one because I, I like I have Hulu, Netflix, Amazon, and I would like a place to watch my the iTunes stuff. My, my wife has some iTunes stuff, um, mostly, but. Right now, I'd prefer to use a Roku player. I like the Roku. Ro um, I, th I like the design better. But maybe the Apple TV will have something that push it into the next level and that make you want to get it. I don't know. Uh, the augmented reality stuff is, yeah. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's cool, but I don't think it's anything that specifically requires the new phone if that makes sense it's the camera and using the gyroscopes in the phone to zoom in and out and move around which I'm pretty sure the current phone has those gyroscopes maybe not but I'm pretty sure it does maybe it just I mean maybe it doesn't have the horsepower to do it but it ha I think it does have the technology in it to do it if it had the graphical capabilities so that might be, or the computing power to process the information quick enough. 
that may have been the big hold up to that. But you never know. Oh man. Yeah, I better not look that way because if I do, I might forget there's a guy in front of me and hit him. I've seen people do that a lot. Well, nobody's there, so I can go. But Apple puts on a good show. Their hardware is pretty good. I do like, I mean, I have an iPhone, I have an Apple Watch, I have a Mac at home. But I do see that there are things that um, are iffy about them. That makes sense. But, I don't know. Hopefully that would do good. I don't know how, it, I do, it does make me wonder how many people, I wonder if it's going to be easier to get the iPhone 8 because people are going to be waiting for the iPhone X. I don't know. I might just go ahead and get an, an iPhone 8. I don't know if I want to wait because my phone is getting a little long in the tooth, as they say. But anyways, talk to you later than that. Today, we try a new tack, a new tactic with Adrian. I'm trying to get my camera positioned correctly so it's not moving so much. Um, oh, my eyes are dry. Sorry. <laughs> um, let me actually make this bigger. There we are. A little bit more light. But we basically turn no TV on, no nothing like that. Uh, because he, he, tomorrow he has to get up early to go to preschool. <clears throat> so, uh, we me and him played. Uh, my wife got home. He played. All, she played with him also. So y'all played together, the dogs and Adrian and everything. And then about uh, 7 o'clock, uh, we sit down. And I was like, okay, pick a book out I read to you. And... All those books over there. Ah, can't get my thing to rest on my shoulder. I read all those and half of those before he really got tired. And then I was like, okay, it's time to really lay down and try to go to sleep. So he, we have this little like a sleeping bag thing it's like a it's, like a it's got a dog's head that's where the pillow is and he basically laid on that for a little while and then he came he sat beside me and he fell asleep about two seconds after he sat beside me <laughs> uh, he headbutted me today so my t gums right here hurt so that's why you see me doing that <laughs> Because he was sitting on me, and I poked him in the belly to tickle him. When I did, he went whack. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I'm glad he didn't hit me in the nose, because that would have probably broken my nose." But he did it's just a bam, and I was like, "Oh," and and it didn't hurt him. He just looked at me like, "Huh? What's wrong?" <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Kids are a hoot. Um, he did fall. It was about nine o'clock when he fell asleep. Yes, that is like a little over around two hours of reading. My throat is still sore. <laughs> um, I had a water bottle sitting right here somewhere. I was going to take it right from. I remember taking my glasses off this time. Uh, water bottle. So yes, um, everything went well. I'm hoping that he'll sleep good tonight. Hoping that he will sleep all the way through the night, and that tomorrow morning, uh, when he wakes up, he'll want to eat. Because a lot of times he does not want to eat. Because we have two problems. One, he needs to eat when he first gets up. You're thinking, okay, no, why? He doesn't. Because, like, yeah, he, it's a few hours before he goes to preschool. But here's the thing 
he gets car sick very, very easily. And if he's eaten or drank anything for like an hour before we get in the vehicle, it just, blah. I mean, literally, you can drive down the street and he gets car sick. Now, if it's been like an hour to hour and a half, you can go maybe 20, 30 minutes before he expels anything out. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's why he wanted to eat early when he gets up. Or my wife's going to wake him up early enough so where he'll be up for a little while and then he will be about to eat. He'll eat and then she'll take him to preschool and not have to deal with him. Blech. So yeah, fun times. Very difficult to go places when you have a little one that gets car sick. But anyways, that's what we did with Adrian. It's basically what I did it for most of the time I did when I was got, got back home. I basically watched some anime. Uh, there's this one anime I've actually started watching I'm really enjoying. Um, it's called In Another World with My Smartphone. Yeah, In Another World with My Smartphone. Weird title. The premise of the story is, is that... Um, uh, God was playing around and struck you with a bolt of lightning and killed you. So he's going to reincarnate you into this other world, and you have like all these, you like a lot stronger, and you have more, you have magical powers and everything. So it's like a fantasy world, and it's and you he, you you uh, he, you asked for something, and you asked, could I bring my smartphone? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to make my monitor. I mean, make my camera shake right there. I basically I'm using my laptop, and the part of it's resting on my stomach. So when I laugh, the computer moves. But yes, yes, that is the premise of the anime. Pretty good. I really, really enjoy it. And a new episode came out. I'm watching on Crunchyroll. Um, if you don't know what Crunchyroll is, it is a anime streaming service that does fan subs. So generally you can watch it there if you can watch it like on Funimation or anywhere else. But anyways, I'm going to get off here because I'm very tired. Reading for two hours, especially these little smaller books like that, kind of puts you to sleep a little bit. So, hope you had a good day. Mine was good. I love reading to Adrian. Love playing with him. So, can't really say I didn't like it. Just kind of made my throat sore. Talk to you tomorrow.